Hi there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down to the beach, bit of a last minute thing. Um, it's windy tonight, it's rough as well. Um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to fish one rod, uh, probably go on a pulley panel rig, um, and just fish some big baits for a while and just you know see you know, what happens. Um, possibly might put a second rod out with maybe a free flapper on. Um, and, and you know just uh, try and scratch around and see what's about. I haven't been beach fishing for a good couple of weeks now. Um, so I'm looking forward to it and I'm ready to go. So I'll show you the baits we got. I'll show you how I'm going to set up and let's crack on with the evening. Right on guys, so I've got a couple of mackerel which I caught off the rocks recently. Um, I've got different variations of lugs. So these are oiled and salted from Tony's Tackle in Eastbourne. Uh, I've got some fresh worms there as well. And we've got some king rag worm here as well. Uh, this is from a local um, uh, guy, bait guy called Michael uh, from Fresh and Frozen Crabs. Uh, so, you know, um, absolutely brilliant ragworm. Size that ragworm is just absolutely insane. So yeah, cheers Mike, thanks for those. Uh, and I've also got some manky old squid just for tipping off there as well. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing um, and we're gonna get on with the evening um, and we'll keep you updated as and when. Right guys, so like I said, the first rig I'm gonna be using is this one here. So this is a panel rig. Uh, so we've just got a basic setup here. So at the top of the rig, we've got just uh, two bees and a swivel there. That's gonna clip onto the main line. And we're gonna run down the rig. That goes down to the panel bit at the bottom which you've got a circle hook there at the top is the top panel hook and then the bottom one there is a you know a wide mouth hook uh, followed by a red lead so what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to get a big ragworm and I'll feed the ragworm up the uh, up the hook so I've got the big ragworm here I'm literally going to take him like this and feed him up the hook Ooh. I'm just going to go one big rag one bait as my first bait. Nice big rag one. Just feeding them all the way around the hook. Like this. Yeah, so this rag one is all the way up the hook. Nice big rag one. Absolute monster. I think that might be a bit too big actually, so I'm just going to snip it there. That's one big ragworm bait there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my top hook. If I don't hook the towel, that is. And the top hook's just going to nip into the top of the bait. Like so. A couple of times round. Wind it round a couple of times and then just, we're going to nip that just in the top of the bait. Which is there. And that is our first bait. And that is our first bait there, so that's a big, nice bit of ragworm on there. Right, so for the second rig then, I've just decided um, to go for a three hook flapper. Uh, this is just on small size four hooks there. Um, and I'm just gonna use some worm on there. So let's take the worm, nice and easy, just feed it round, like we usually do. come out just before the bottom, nice and easy. Uh, I'm just going to go worm on all three hooks for this one. And then we'll do variations of worm, ragworm, you know, worm tip of squid, ragworm tip of squid, and so on and so forth throughout the night. I think I've decided to put, actually put two rods out, so one rod will be on the big baits and uh, one rod will be on the small baits. It's not as windy as I thought it was going to be. Um, the tide's still pulling quite a bit, but I think on red leads, red grip weights, we should hold pretty well. And hopefully we won't get any tangles. So yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, we'll, no, we'll see how we get on with that. So there's all three baits there for my free at flapper. I'm just going to set up the second rod now. Right on guys, so both rods have been cast out. We are now officially out fishing on the beach. Um, like I said, it's been quite a while, uh, so you know we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it actually. Um, really, really looking forward to it. After my lure fishing sessions, they have been absolutely fantastic. The last two sessions have been great. Um, you know, what will be, will be. So hopefully we'll have a nice beach session tonight um, and catch some fish. Right on guys, reeled in my first rig um, and I've managed to find all this. 
all this discarded line in the sea. Um, and actually, on the line is a full rig, which is here, with a weight. So, uh, you know, that's a couple of quid. So, uh, you know, cheers to whoever lost that. It's coming back home with me. I'll discard it with the line as well. And, uh, you know, into a win. <laughs> I don't mind reeling in other people's tackle. You know, it's weight for me. A couple of other bits and pieces. And, uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, my panel rig. Uh, ragworm's completely disappeared, so yeah, it's going to be uh, baiting up again, and we'll give that another go. Right, guys, just show you the second bait we've got going out. It's a nice concoction of lugworm with a bit of ragworm in the middle. I'm going to get that out now. All right, so first fish of the night, guys. Dover salt. I've measured him. He's coming out at 30. It's 30, 35, or 36. Let's double check. Yeah, 35, 36. centimeters. So he's a really nice size, and uh, I'll be taking him home for some dinner. So yeah, happy days, first fish, Dover salt. Let's crack on with the evening. Right on guys, so uh, bang into another fish again. Fish number two is a little white, but nothing of great size. I'm not going to touch him, I just want to get him straight back in the water. Uh, so yeah, fish number two, a white. Right on guys, back into another fish. Uh, this time it's another sole. This one's proper lively. Is here. There we go. Oh, proper lively fish this one. There. So, yep, yeah, another sole. Uh, pretty chuffed. So, it's two sole, one whiting so far. I'm just going to measure him up just to show you how big he is. And then uh, we'll crack on with the session. Yeah, so happy days. Right on guys, so the second sole is measuring out at 30 centimetres. Rock and roll. So guys, there's my second sole. Uh, 28, sorry, 30 centimetres that one. So yeah, pretty chuffed with that. Right on guys, there's my first sole. Uh, coming out at 36. Right on guys, so we're halfway through the session. And uh, so far I've had two nice sole. Which have been uh, really nice. That's, that, that, there's my dinner. Two nice sole. And uh, you know, one one little whiting, so yeah, doing all right. Uh, just gonna crack on with the session and see what else the evening brings. Right, guys, into one more fish. This is fish number four uh, on the lug, uh, on the one up, one down rig. Is it right flapper? Uh, oh, get the right way around. There's pouting there. Uh, nothing of great size, but uh, fish number four and a species number three tonight. It's a two sole. A white end of the pouting. So yeah, let's get him unhooked, get him back in the water, and uh, crack on again. Right on guys, so the tide's on the way back up now. Uh, not much has been happening uh, since the last fish. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a play around with this. Uh, Silent Seagoo, uh, this one's a lugworm. Uh, I'm gonna put it on one rod and uh, see if it increases the uh, chance of me catching the fish. So uh, yeah, we'll have a play around with it. And uh, see what the results are in a bit. Right guys, just a quick update. Um, it's going pretty slow at the moment. Um, put the mackerel seagull on, uh, nothing at the moment. Uh, so it's just the same as it was before. Um, so we're just waiting for the uh, the flood to come up. Uh, I think we're about half an hour to 40 minutes into the into the flood. Uh, gonna fish it for another maybe hour and a half uh, and then call it a night, I think. Um, cliffs have one whiting um, and it's now gone really quiet, so we will see what happens. Um, but yeah, trying different things. Uh, the one up, one down rig uh, has been the rig tonight. To be fair, uh, over the last couple of beach sessions, the one up, one down rig has actually wiped the floor of any other rig I've been using at the moment. Uh, so that's one hook above the lead and one hook below the lead. Just seems to be really, really good and seems to really work. Uh, tonight I'm using small size four hooks, really small ones. Um, and yeah, um, it's been fun. Definitely, definitely, um, good to be back on the beach um, beach fishing is uh, you know I, I love beach fishing anyway and uh, lure fishing as well on the side is, 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 is you know is absolutely fantastic it does break it up a little bit um, and makes it makes it more fun I mean tonight I thought it was gonna be you know pretty pretty poor I thought it was gonna be really windy but the wind seems to have eased off now um, and there's no rain so that's pretty you know it's a bonus so yeah gonna fish it out uh, let you know what happens uh, wish me luck well done guys, Seagoo, Seagoo saves the day. So 
So uh, on the rod, I put the Sigu on, managed to get one white in and one Dover Sole, so a double shot. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so the Sigu worked uh, on this occasion. Uh, the other rod, nothing at all. So um, yeah, so we're still going to carry on um, and see if we can get anything else on the uh, on the Sigu rod. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to measure the Dover Sole. Uh, the whiting is uh, is tinty, so it's going straight back in, um, and yeah, pretty good result. Right, and guys, so the uh, next Dover Sole is coming in at he's about 28. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, 28 centimeter Dover Sole. Right, and guys, so that is it for me. Um, the session is now ended, unfortunately. Uh, the tide is on its way up and um, I've got to get ready for work tomorrow so unfortunately that is the end of midnight um, I've had three nice sized Dover Sol which are going to be coming home with me for, for, my, for my dinner in the next couple of days uh, I also had two white in and one pout so you know it's been a, it's been a difficult night I would say but you know we've had, we've had some fish so we haven't blanked uh, Cliff's had a couple of white in as well uh, so you know everyone's a winner um, yep but unfortunately now is my time to go I'll flip the camera around so you can see the sole uh, on the top of my tackle box and then that is it from me guys and I'll see you next time thanks so much for joining me and um, I'll see you next time cheers guys